Okay, I'm changing the oil in a 2400i Westinghouse inverter generator. As you can see right here, 2400 starting, 2100 running watts. And it actually cranks my 13.5 BTU AC unit, which I bought it just for charging batteries, but I'm happy that it does that. Uh, as you can see also, it calls for SAE 15W40, which is normally a diesel oil, but that's okay. Here's some Royal Purple 15W40 which is what I'm going to use. I've never used Royal Purple in my life but it's one of the very few synthetics that come in a 15W40 weight. Most of the 15W40s like I use in my diesel truck are a dyno oil. So, but it uses so little of it that uh, 400 milliliters is what it uses. This is the bottle that comes with it and uh, they give you a little, a little fill up thing, 200 milliliters, you put two of these. But the easiest way I just found out is because there's no plug on the bottom of this generator. There's no uh, oil drain plug. So what you end up doing is removing this uh, filler cap and just tipping the generator over and uh, filling it from there uh, and, and, and draining it from there. So dual purpose. And what they did on the generator is they gave you a little bit, little kind of a little deal you can see there that the oil is supposed to uh, drain right on out when you tip it. But what really happens is there's some little holes right there. <laughs> and yeah, it drains out here okay. And then it goes in that little hole. And so then you end up with oil here in the bottom of your generator. So, and then you start leaking out the bottom and all that. So, lessons learned, just take the cover off and uh, do it that way. And that way you can catch the oil, any oil that leaks out of here better. Uh, while I'm in here, I'll show you the carburetor. I've got a uh, couple of high altitude jets for it that uh, Westinghouse couldn't provide. But after doing some research, this is the exact same generator as the home light. So I ordered two jets. One's for, I think, 5,000 to something like 8,000. And then the next jet is 8 to 10 or 12 or whatever. But anyway, I got two of them. All you do is take this nut off, drop the bowl. And this jet screwed right into the side. Very simple. This is just a little, if you want to drain the fuel bowl. So it's a well made little generator. You can see uh, the gas tank here. It, uh, it's a miser on fuel. But anyway, uh, it's very simple to pull the cover off. Just a bunch of screws. I'm getting ready to put it back in place and uh, we'll crank it up. Okay, so I just got the cover here, just kind of hanging there. There's two screws under here that you need to be aware of. One's here, and uh, actually just one's here that's under the rubber. And then these four, uh, there's four screws on top. And you might note that the screws on top are a little bit longer. Than the, than the rest of the screws everywhere else. Uh, that's just to have some strength right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
screw all this up and then we'll crank her up. Okay, so it's that simple. Got all of that. Now we just have to put the sides on. And you can't screw that up. It's pretty much what we call worm, worm proof because this one has six screws. The other side only has four. Six and four. So let's go ahead and mount those covers. Okay, that's the exhaust side. Now, there's the inverter side. So I better hurry up because it's starting to rain. So, I just put that on there. It's gonna go like that. And then, okay, so she's all full of fresh load of royal purple. Let's see if she's going to run now. Turn the fuel on. Open up the vent. I don't know if I'll need to choke it or not, but we'll find out. Maybe so. Try to do this with one hand is awkward. There you go. Fresh load of synthetic. Quiet little generator. Very quiet. It's got a uh, tunnel mode, with it, which it's on right now. You got a reset button for the load. 220 amps. Choke. A uh, Prego cigarette lighter plug here to uh, charge your uh, you know, 12 volt outlet to do anything you want with it. So, yep, yeah, Louisiana rain is coming, so I just wanted to show you what the inside of this thing looks like. They're fairly new on the market. Oh, by the way, you also got USB, two USB ports right here. So it's pretty well thought out. $619 or $17, I think, at uh, AP Electric. Can't beat that. It's as quiet as a Honda. Or close. 52 to 59 decibels is what it's advertised as, which is about the same as a Honda or a Yamaha, I think. They're all very close. But Honda's the Cadillac. I'm not taking anything away from that. But for the money, this is a good deal. Served me well so far. I've only probably put about, I don't know, 10 hours on it or so. But uh, it's got a little 79cc engine on it, which is the same engine that they all have. But it's got more watts. So you got more starting watts and more running watts with this little thing. Most of them are. 2000 starting and 1600 running. Same physical size suitcase. It fits inside the storage compartment there. and that little travel trailer there. So that's all I wanted to show you. Goodbye.